Hi there, everybody. Uh, we are doing a new twist on a classic. Mac and cheese, of course, a big favorite with families and kids out there. We're joined by Tony Moretto from the Tilton Diner, one of the common man restaurants out there. Thanks for being here today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. So mac and cheese is one of my favorites. My kids could eat it, I'm pretty sure, eight days a week if I could give them that. Um, what are we doing today? Uh, today we're going to make our plain mac and cheese with our scratch-made cheese sauce. Okay. We do an Asiago Parmesan Romano blend Ooh. with a cheddar cheese in it. All good choice. Uh, it's homemade. Uh, we have different variations like a pulled pork mac and a buffalo mac. And we have a mac wiggle, which is peas and bacon. A mac wiggle, okay. So you just throw that right in the pan there and mix it together? Yeah, get it all mixed in there. And then we put it right in the crock there and top it with a breadcrumb parmesan mix. Okay. And we pop it in the oven and bake it till it's golden brown. Oh my goodness, that all sounds good. I would imagine this is a pretty popular item on the menu. Uh, it's very popular. We sell quite a bit of these. Okay. So you're going to put that right in a little container there. And does this go right in the oven then? Yeah, it goes right in the oven and uh, we pull it out once the breadcrumbs are nice and brown. Oh, that looks good. You have a lot of people at home drooling right now. So the breadcrumbs, you put a little breadcrumbs on top? Yeah, we make these in house too. And again, the three cheeses that you use there, the Asiago? Uh, we do an Asiago Parmesan Romano blend. Oh, nice. And then we do cheddar cheese, and it's a cream base for the sauce. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And we just pop this in the oven. The magical Channel 9 oven. Actually, we've got a couple of them ready right now. We'll All pull right. some out. How long will you cook it for after you've done that? Because it's already cooked. It's already cooked. We do it, if you were to do it at home, it'd probably take about 20 minutes in the oven. Okay. Um, but we warm it up at work, so it takes probably about 10 minutes until the breadcrumbs are nice and golden brown. And these three variations again are, we've got... We got the... Uh, kind of a barbecue mac and cheese we there. We got the barbecue pulled pork right there, yeah. and we got the buffalo chicken mac, and that is the plain mac, but we're gonna actually serve it with, because you can have the option of doing the plain mac with a hot dog. So we had a grilled hot dog here. I imagine pretty popular with the kids out there. Oh yeah, they, they love the, the mac and cheese there. So, all right, very nice. And that's our final product. Takes about ten minutes. I would imagine that's very popular out there. Again, uh, if you're looking for more information, theseaman.com. Um, obviously, the Tilton Diner, one of those popular stops, right there at Exit 20. I love yep. going in there. Right great to get Tilton, breakfast, yep. and obviously great for comfort food as well. Tony Moretto from the Tilton Diner. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. It smells very nice in here. That does it for us.